I'm Karen Spilka, president of the Massachusetts Senate, and I'm here to give a weekly update for the week of June 15, 2020. We've been busy in the, in the Massachusetts Senate, and I just want to let you know that we have formed a working group on racial justice. It's chaired by Senators Sonia Chang Diaz and Senator Pro Tem Will Brownsberger. They have already met several times. They're meeting several times this week and working expeditiously with a sense of urgency and yet thoroughness to review policies and issues and bills to make recommendations to the Senate. They are looking at issues such as police officers, standards, certification and training, use of excessive force like chokeholds and other areas, uh, data collection, strong data collection, the duty to intervene, and accountability for the failure to intervene, and other areas. We won't stop there. We will continue to look at other areas of racial justice. I also met with the Black and Latino Legislative Caucus, and we discussed a lot of these issues as well and the bills that are before us. It was very productive and very helpful. I look forward to continuing to work with them on these critical issues. Upcoming, I have meetings with other advocates, the Chief of Police Association and others so that we can take a look at these issues and present a bill to the Senate and get hopefully get one passed and on the governor's desk before this session is over. I view this as a sprint and a marathon. Short term, we need to work with urgency and get something meaningful done, but that won't be the end. We need to look at the systemic uh, racial injustices in housing, education, economic development, and finance, among other things. This week, tomorrow, uh, we are uh, presenting a strong bill on mail-in balloting. It will be a first time that Massachusetts will have such a robust mail-in and early voting uh, elections for the primary on September 1st and the general on November 3rd. Uh, we will uh, work really hard to get this also done quickly because I know we are putting a lot on our clerks across the state and our secretary of state to have such a robust mail-in balloting and early voting. Last week, we passed a Chapter 90 bill. The Chapter 90 provides funds to all of our cities and towns for their roads and bridges. Normally, we do 200 million. I'm proud to say the Senate passed a bill for $300 million to be dispersed among all of our cities and towns and thereby providing even more funds to fix the roads and the bridges in, in our communities. We also passed the bill to provide for a new MBTA board of directors. Lastly, last week, we passed a very strong Eastern Equinine Encephalitis Bill, Triple E Bill. I think all of you hopefully remember last summer where there was a major Triple E outbreak it usually comes in two or three year cycles. We need to be prepared so that Tripoli uh, doesn't infect our residents. Uh, so that, look forward to that. We also last week had a, our first, the Senate's first public listening session on our reopening and recovery. It was the Economic Development and Labor and Workforce Development Committees that joined forces and heard from folks that can inform us as to what would be our next steps to have a strong recovery here in Massachusetts. Coming up will be public health and healthcare, finance, childcare, education, and other areas that would really help, uh, help us in the future. Go on my website and you'll see a schedule. Lastly, I just wanna remind folks that we are in stage two. Please don't forget to wear your mask if you go outside wash your hands, uh, use sanitizer, social distance, and also keep our local businesses in mind. They need our support. Go out there and use them. Uh, we are in phase two. You can uh, use either have it delivered, curbside. Some of them you can now go in 
Uh, but please support our local businesses. They need our help. Thanks very much. Be well and have a great week ahead.